ladies, I'm Gracie Opilanza. You're the first women downhill mountain bikers I've ever interviewed. Ooh, really? To put it into perspective, awesome. I'm used to interviewing Greg Menard. From a woman's perspective, and I'm very familiar with the sport, it's a man's world, right? Uh, they like to think it is, <laughs> uh, that's for sure. Um, yeah, there's a lot more men than there are women. Um, but you know, we're really starting to make a mark in, in the sport and, and progress. So uh, we need to see more girls out here and, uh, and turn it into a, an all-round uh, sport, really. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess as females, we have to work on that. And obviously, the guys are quite a lot stronger than us. Like being marketed um, in a different way, you know? What, how, how are you marketed within the sport? I think it's really difficult, um, you know, with the men, they're, uh, you know, the top 80 are definitely pushed and, and you know, marketed well out there. Uh, for the women, it's, it's such a small field that are, that are being watched and, and that people get to see. So we need to see a lot more of uh, the likes of ourselves, you know, sort of the top 20, top 30, just all the girls that are out there competing and, you know, we're riding the same track as the men and, and we're riding just as hard. So. Um, if we can see more of the girls in the sport, I think it would make it a lot more enticing to the to the younger females. It's a man's world out here. Would you agree? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I haven't really thought of it that way. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I mean, they're definitely a lot stronger than us. <laughs> but. And he's done professional sporting for ten years. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Where's there a point where you think, do you know what? I've just got to give up because it's not happening. Um, Do athletes ever think like that? In f I can only think in a female sport and for females in downhill mountain bikes, I, I hear and motocross, it's pretty much you might as well not even do it because you can't make any money out of it so you can't make a living and women have to decide when they want to start families and everything like this is much more different whereas men in this in downhill and also motocross, one of the world, ten times world champion rode until he was 36, I think. And in this sport, I think is pretty similar. I don't want to name any names, but there are much older guys doing still Stay right in the front, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right in the front. So, um, in your experience, how can we get um, sponsors to buy into women into downhill or motocross? Where are they going wrong? Where are the athletes going wrong? People are going to hate me when I say this. There was one girl in motocross in particular, and another that's trying, but you can only deal with what God's given you. There's one girl, she is really beautiful. She doesn't dress like a man. She doesn't try to dress like... Women try to dress like the men to make themselves be taken seriously, which I can understand, but there's no marketing there. You cannot market to women because there are a small minority of women that are tomboys. I don't, I don't know how to word it, but that's where I think they're going wrong. They need to keep that. You just need to look at um, uh, athletes that do the Olympics, women that do face creams and shampoos. These are women that look after themselves and proclaim to be feminine, and that's where I think that they're all going wrong.